we're going to be discussing how to create cases. To create notes, simply click on the Notes sub-tab and you will access the cases. Cases are a group of notes and each evaluation needs its own case. Now to add a case, click the Add Case button and fill out the fields in the box. The required fields would be the title, the profile, the term insurances, the date, the assigned therapist, and the case type. The case title could be anything really, it's just a reference to know what the case is about. For example, for this one, I will put training, training case. The profile is to select which template we are going to use, default being adult geriatric and orthopedic. And as you can see, pediatric and sensor pediatric are also available. Now, the primary insurance and secondary insurances, you will choose the applicable insurance from the drop down menu. The referring physicians is from the referral section, and we will show that in a different video. The date gets stamped automatically. The assigned therapist should be the primary one assigned to the case. This sets the discipline to the case. Secondary therapist should be any additional or assistant if applicable. And the comment section could be also used as free text for anything. For example, you might want to put in that patient may have change of insurance next month, and this way you will know. The strict mode requires therapists to fill out every section of the note, and the check schedule cross-references the note date with schedule date on the calendar. For example, if you are finalizing a note for the day, but no scheduled visits exist, the system will not allow you to finalize it, only save it as a draft. The case type is very important. Select the, select the appropriate case based on the episode. Each case has its own regulations. For example, Medicare Part B follows the eight minute rule, prior level of function, recertification notes, and etc. Also, you can apply the KX modifier or the system will enable it automatically once it calculates the requirement based on the CPT codes build. Now click, we'll click create. We just added the case. Now if I refresh the patient list, notice that the discipline indicator will appear over here. Notice that now our case got added to the list. If you need to modify any portion of the settings, simply click the settings icon and it will open the screen back up. Also notice that the green icon appears and it means that the case is now active. If a discharge note is put in, the circle will turn red. You can also manually override the case by clicking the X button, which will discharge the case. For Medicare, the caps are tracked underneath by a bar graph. For example, if I click on a different patient with multiple cases, we can see it in effect. When I put my mouse, when I put my mouse over the green bar, it tells me how much was billed. Now, if I'm ready to start documenting, I click on the folder icon in the corresponding case, and in the next video, we'll, we'll go over adding 